So, today we got a little goblin boy here. Just a little guy. Or I guess he's not a goblin. He's called a peglin. And that's also what the game is called. And he's gonna take out a lot of monsters by playing a bit of a chance game. And because of this ability over here, every time the board refreshes, we deal some extra damage. And on the way down, he accumulates damage, which carries over to the monster. So these guys have a lot of hit points. So we should probably go for some of the big damage things, like a bomb. Want to hit that, and then we need to hit it twice to detonate, like that other one just did. So this will damage both of them for 50, and then a crit, an extra 44 there. He's looking a little weaker, but now we have a dagger here, and these are really only good for critical hits. But there isn't an easy shot to get there, so maybe we'll just hit this bomb for right now. And then maybe it can work its way to a critical thing, but it's not really looking like it. At least we deal 14 more damage, and then got a lot of coins in the meantime, but now he's right in front of me, and I don't appreciate that. But if we can hit that reload over there, then that's gonna be so much damage. Hopefully this hits, and oh, come on, get there. Oh no, it just missed it. That's only one damage, or two damage, I guess. And now he's poking me for two damage. Go away. And now the crit is right there. Let's try to keep the crit there for the dagger about to show up. So now we deal enough damage to take out you. And now the dagger's here so we can hit you. And then you can have fun just accumulating all sorts of damage. 21, 35, 42. Another crit there. 84 damage on this. That's very nice, but he's still right in front of me. Go away. Oh, come on. That really didn't do enough damage. Fine, I'll reload. That's 62 damage because of all the pegs that got destroyed. And the ball is still going. But the fight is over, so we get to use the money that we collected to maybe get a new ball. A collater ball. This converts things to bombs? I like that idea. But it also doesn't do any damage. Not sure I'm a fan of that. I do like this one, though. It has multi-ball on it. So we can get that, and then we could also get this... Buzzsaw here causes enemies to take extra damage from crits. Yeah, we can do that. And then that's all the money we had. So now we get to try and decide where to go next. There's a random thing over there, but there's also another fight over here. Let's just collect some money and then see where we end up. And it does look like we're gonna end up, uh oh, in the middle. So we take some damage. Lovely. Well, let's just take some more coins and see how many we can get, which isn't very many. We're going to the next fight. And it's against a couple of slimes, but ooh, there's some good looking bombs in the middle. Now, this dagger is only good for critical hits and they're both on the bottom there somewhere so if we could just open up the middle maybe the dagger will find one or go along the edge there's one over there too so that should be okay ain't a lot of coins out of this and of course the dagger is just gonna miss entirely so not a lot of damage there at least the middle is open now so we can start to mess with some of these bombs we have to hit them twice for them to go off and that's two that are prepped and ready but just a little more damage to him if we manage to hit those bombs then they all deal damage or they all take damage so let's just try to open the middle again with a buzzsaw going through here, which is also really only good for crits. So that was sadly, oh, that was actually enough damage for him. Very good. But at least now the bomb is perfectly exposed for the thing to hit it. And then, oh, we reload that for extra damage. Oh man, and we got the crits. So much is gonna happen. There's not even enemies for the ball to do damage to after the bomb. We did it. Ooh, this lightning here looks really good. Zaps an additional nearby ball every bounce? Sure, that sounds like fun. It doesn't do a lot of damage though. And now these are both random. So we're just gonna do the same thing. Collect a bunch of money and see where we go. Okay, we went to the left. Which the next two choices are both fights. Yay. Oh, an obelisk. Comes with a tantalizing power. You can feel its connection. We can force a pet ball into the obelisk. Or pray to receive its power, which gives us an orb. I like the idea. The power of the obelisk flows into you. Such a little guy. How does he have so much power brewing inside of him? An orbalisk. Wow. What does that even do? It gets damage for each pet ball in our deck? Wow. Fun. Now, I'm not really sure where we're going, but we're going to the right. The chest is in my sight. Reach a clearing with a strange amount of crows. You don't think much of it until they start to drop pet balls. Oh, so we can just catch these? Why would I lose HP if I could just catch these? That's really gonna boost the obelisk thing. So we have three pebbles of level one. Nice. And now we can just go straight for the chest. Not even gonna chance it with anything else. Oh, give me the goodies. You can see how quickly he runs. What you got inside? So we have some relics that we can take. A refresher course. Every coin collected during navigation is worth four. Ooh, I think I like that idea. And sadly though, there's no coins here. Well, let's just go to the next fight because wow, 
There's two ch Oh, this whole row is chess. I didn't realize that. And oh, wow. Funny spirals here. Oh, and we can send the multi-ball down this. I need to. Just because it'd be super satisfying if it was all like the linear ones, not the ball ones that bounce around. But that's still a good amount of damage, even though there is more slimes coming up here. And why are all of the pet balls stacked in a row? That's more annoying than anything. And I can only discard one, so it doesn't even matter. Let's just take out a bunch of these orbs and then maybe get a reload because wow, 52 damage. That was looking very good, especially because the red slimes seem to have more health. So getting more damage things and more pegs clear before we reload is going to be really good. Okay, let's try to save a reload for one more go around so we can get the last slime out there. Because this is going to be a lot of damage. Okay, now all three 110 health slimes are out here. So we're just going to go straight for the reload. 87 damage to all of them. Wow. And we haven't even hit the bomb in the middle. And there was another reload. So sadly, okay, they all have 5 HP, which isn't the sad part. The sad part is that I can only hit one at a time. Unless I get another reload or the bomb. Please get the bomb. You are missing the bomb entirely. But look at, oh my gosh. This would take it out at full health. That's so much crit damage. I feel really bad, but I'm going to hit this last one with a reload for 38. And now these are some fun ones. <laughs> oh my gorb. <laughs> oh, it permanently deletes pegs, but it also attacks all enemies. That's interesting. But I also don't want to permanently lose things. Maybe we could just upgrade an orb instead. So if we upgrade the Orbalisk, then... Oh, we can do Pebbles or Bold Orbs. These sound like Pokemon so much. I don't really have any Bold Orbs, though. The Lightning Ball zapping two additional things is sounding really good right now. So we'll take that. And then we can heal for 20 HP. That tops us right up. And then, okay, now we can go for coins during the travel phase to hopefully get a little more spending power and it's looking good for that and then we go to the right easy decision oh man there's an upcoming big fight hopefully this relic is good it's a button it's just a button contains additional crit thing that could be good and then this boost post battle healing do i do that well in case i do i'll take it and then this might be a really bad idea but i want to try this elite fight because our little peglin is being pretty strong right now and oh these seem fun like the place of self don't seem fun, but these little like loop de doos do. Although I'm not sure where to send it. Let's send you over. I don't want to attack you over here and mark it like that. Okay, there we go. Bit of a reload there and then go down there. Oh no, you went on the wrong side of it. Ooh, but at least you got a crit for 210? Wow! That 14 crit is looking very juicy right now. And ooh, that's some good ramps there. And then hit the bomb. Hit the bomb. No, you didn't hit the bomb! Oh, uh, fine. But the front one still isn't dead. So multi-ball, do your thing. And then I would like one to go on the inside and one on the outside. That's looking good. Ooh, got the crit. But you missed a reload. At least we got that reload. So the front plant is dead. And it dropped a thing for more research points. Oh, the next thing is a uh, lightning thing so let's actually trash this pebble here and then send out the lightning just so it can hit so many things and rack up a whole bunch of damage there's the bomb and it got a crit Ooh, this is gonna be good bomb to deal 50 damage and then pfft, 80 damage on top of that wow how did this little guy get so strong i'm so proud of him Ooh, and there's a crit there for 50 68 damage couldn't you do one more damage then it would have been nice. But now this dagger doesn't have a lot of room to go. Or I guess we could trash it since it's not going to do a lot of damage. But we also don't need to do a lot of damage. So I believe in the dagger. And sure enough, it's going to do all the damage it needs. Beautiful. So we do have some new ones here. This one is musical. Grants all orbs extra crit points after attacking. But that's only one. What is this one? Creates money on every seventh hit? Oh, but I can't activate the coin ones. That's boring. Ooh, this one destroys the bombs in one hit. I like this. Deals two self damage when fired. I'm okay with that. And wow, we actually had a lot of money there. Let's upgrade another one. Ooh, here we go. We can upgrade the buzzsaw to only need one of these crit things. I like that. Hey, and now we get a relic. This one's like a little sock puppet. Prevent the first time you would lose health. Ooh, orbs receive bonuses for every following connected of the same type. That would be really good for the pebbles. Or money contributes to damage. Oh, these are all good. You know what? We'll take the backpack because the chance for this is extremely high. And now they're both random things, but the left path has another elite fight. Well, actually the right path does too. So I guess it doesn't matter too badly. Let's just get more money because there is also a shop coming up, ow. And buying new things are gonna 
gonna be very good. Would you stop going in the middle? That doesn't help anybody. And he's going in the middle again. I'm just trying to give you some wealth here. Is that so bad? Thank you. Oh, this random thing better be worth it. It's another fight. Are you serious right now? All right, fine. Lightning critical. Ooh, it just zapped all those. Wow. Ooh, hit the bomb. Yes, it hit the bomb. So, oh man, this is gonna be brutal. 50 damage there and then 36 there. That was actually really good. Perfectly enough for the blue slime that it took out. And now the green slime is in for a rough day because we're doing 35, 40, 45, 50 damage straight to its face. And yeah, all the pebbles are getting boosted. So it's a really good time to get a crit, even though a dagger is coming up. And that sadly wasn't very much. And the crit thing keeps swapping around every time. So maybe it's not so bad for the dagger, but that was a really bad roll for that one. And now the bat's right in front of my face. So let's hopefully hit a bomb here and then set it off. Ooh, or just deal a lot of damage with the re-roll or the reload. So we take out this bat right before the next one shows up. I don't like how much they're stacking here. Is this an elite fight? Does this count as that? I'm not sure it does. Let's just reload again for the funnies of it. And then the dagger hopefully hits a crit thing. I totally forgot that was a dagger. And the bat has life leech? Well, that's just rude. Anyway, let's get a crit on the obelisk here. And then, oh, another one, 112. Wow, I wish I saved that for the last slime there. But here, another crit to go right there and then stack it up very good. Please hit the bomb. You're not gonna hit a bomb, but that's okay. 30 damage. To the wrong thing! They're all in front of me, so it doesn't even know what to attack anymore. All right, you know what? Just crit the buzzsaw. And then 12 damage. At least that's enough to take out you. Ooh, here we go. The fireball. This can trigger a bomb right away, so do it. And then that should do pretty good damage there. Ooh, it took out the bat on the reload. And then the bomb will take out this guy. We did it. What is this? This is a person. Matriorbska. How do you say these things? Sure, multi-ball. That's all it does. I do like the sound of this reorganizer. It shuffles around the crits and the reloads, which would be good for if they're in a bad spot. And can we upgrade this to not do self-damage? We can have it do more damage. Oh, we can upgrade the crits of the dagger. Let's do that once. And then we can upgrade things again. But we can also upgrade the things that we already upgraded. So let's upgrade the lightning ball to hit more things. Okay, and then this this is a regular fight, right? And then that one's a shop. Sadly, there's no more treasure on the map. And we don't have the money that we used to. At least not until we collect here. And oh, I guess we're going to the fight. Hopefully this one isn't too bad before the elite fight coming up. Although it doesn't seem that way. So let's just make the most of it. Put this orbalisk here. Roll down. Ooh, beautiful roll there. That was satisfying. That's 224 damage. I kind of feel bad for the boss right now. But let's do the same thing over here and okay that was a little better big boost from the pet ball damage sadly no crits but that's still 133 damage i don't know who underestimated these pet balls but they made a very big mistake there and okay that one wasn't as much but the reload's also gonna do a lot of damage so boop, 38 to everybody and now this one's critting oh so much crits 140 at least it's to the red slime who has the health to justify that and then let's just uh reload this again for 17 more damage, and then, yeah, you're kind of donezo. Goodbye. And now all there is is an elite fight, so it's just the outside edges that are dangerous. So let's just break up a whole bunch of money here. And it's already looking a lot better. Two bombs detonated. Ooh, another one. Okay, out of danger there. Oh gosh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Oh no! At least it's only two damage still and not getting even worse every time. And there's one more elite fight before the boss. And this elite fight just has one dude for 543 health. And the Orbalisk is way down there, so maybe we can finish this pretty quickly. At least the lightning ball is hitting so many things because that was a beautiful little ramp there. So, oh, and a crit. Oh, yes. 100 plus damage on one hit. I like that. And okay, but he marches pretty far. Okay, this is a reorganizer thing. So we'll just... Wow, two crits for zero. Amazing. Absolutely worth it. But we'll just reload for 52 damage there. And then crits start to rake up things as well. But not much. And uh, he's already in front of me. But let's just do the same thing here. Maybe going down this way so we can for sure get that crit block there. Beautiful. Ooh, good damage. 200 damage so far. And then it just keeps going. 40, 48. Come on, one hit. Yes, we got enough damage going. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, I didn't want to get hit by him because we we're actually down 
quite a bit of health points. I didn't realize that. We do have a lot of money though, so we can for sure get this potion and that almost tops us up. Now let's just get another Orbalus because I love them so much. And then all there is left is the boss. All right, maybe we can get a little bit of money without going into the pit there. Oh no, we just go into the pit on the other side. All right, just straight down the middle. No more shenanigans, because we have like a deer druid thing to fight, it looks like. Oh my goodness, that's a whole wendigo over there. And it has so many upcoming ads, oh my goodness. Okay, the dagger is first off, and thankfully there's a crit ball right on the top. So please do good, hit a lot of things. Maybe hit a couple bombs too. Okay, you hit that one once and that was a slime. I'm sorry, did that just boost it to 200 damage? What was that? Bomb here and then dagger. Oh, it hit the plant in front of him. That's such a waste of damage. And now what is this nonsense? We got vines going everywhere. Is that gonna block things? Okay, there's another slime. I don't know what that does, but there's a couple reloads happening because this is a reload ball. So that's some free damage there. And then 24 damage there. Oh, he just hit me, the jerk. Oh, the vines capture or the damage and capture orbs. Okay, but what does that slime do? It doesn't tell me anything. I'm just gonna hit it. Ooh, that's a blue slime. The one that boosted the damage was, it was kind of that color, but it wasn't. And there's more slimes happening right now but we are still doing good damage oh gosh and there's more brambles happening too and that's the randomizer so let's just start some crits happening here just so we can have a little fun with it i feel like we're gonna hit a vine because they're stretching like pretty much all across the bottom here and yep it caught the orb but that's still 95 damage going his way so let's just hit you okay that doesn't seem to do much it's just making the orb like invincible and the purple stuff i have no idea what it does but there are so many bramble things right now Get rid of that. And I think it damaged him a little bit too, but now he has an ad friend, which is tanking the damage for him. Okay, this pebble doesn't have the damage bonuses that the other ones did. So let's just remove that and then use a saw to hit you and then hopefully hit good things. Did that just, oh, I think that healed me. Is that what happened? I don't know, but the saw got caught, so it didn't really do anything. I want to hit that purple thing, but it's so hard to actually hit. And this is another pebble, so we can discard you this turn. And then, ooh, we should hit a bomb directly with this because it'll detonate right away. And then please do things. It just burnt the bramble. I like that. Although he still has a lot of health here. So we're gonna need some major damage numbers because he's still smacking me around and I don't like it. And can we, okay, we can hit that bramble thing so it gets rid of it. Oh, and it just launched the other things. Wow, that's helpful. Ooh, and it, okay, it hit some other things. A crit just happened. 192 damage going out with two bombs. Oh yes, I love this. 216 damage there, okay. He used to have a lot of health, but now he doesn't because he's taking more damage from crits, I see. And then hopefully this, ooh, actually this lightning ball would be really good to clear some of the brambles. So let's get you launched that way to hit those, beautiful, and then free those up. Hopefully you can free up a lot of things. Okay, they actually just free up themselves, nice. Oh yes, and crits just happened. 130 more damage. He's looking very weak right now. And I'm looking kind of less weak. Oh yes, Orbalesk. And there's a crit thing right over there. Oh, but his friend's in front of it. Oh, actually he's he's gone now. And yes, hit more things too. Oh, he's he is done for. He is absolutely done for. The damage just keeps going up. 512, 564 damage. Goodbye, Leshy. And this is a level two thing that we can buy. Best orb fence. Deal five damage for ball work. I don't really have that, but I like the level two things. And let's just upgrade things. Like uh, the fireball, sure. And then the orb, orbalisk here can get upgraded too. And then four relics to choose from here. Summons a round squirrel onto the pegboard, but it's destroyed after a hundred uses. I don't even know what a round squirrel means, but I'm intrigued. And that completes the forest. So we can move into the castle where, was that a wall? I feel like that boss was a wall. Well, the damage is only gonna get crazier, so let's just make it more crazy. I was crazy once. Now let's try to get this to hit that crit thing right there and it missed, but it, oh, that's the squirrel. What? <laughs> And it just left a thingy there. Oh, he's got a shield. Okay, this Inferno Orb destroys these things in one hit. Not too sure what they do, but let's just destroy them. Okay, so it, it defends things, but it's also breaking through his shield. I like that. And his shield is entirely gone now. But man, he has more friends. Of course he's got more friends. Do his friends like a reload? I'm sure they don't. But we'll also just hit a lot more things and the squirrel is just leaving these little slimy bits everywhere. I don't even want to think about squirrel slime, but here we are. Let's just hit it again. And ooh, that's actually a really good ramp there. 
even though it's not getting bonus damage, it's still dealing a lot to the knight. Okay, here... We oh, wait. This doesn't have the damage bonus. Go away. So the multiball can hit the crit and then hopefully build up good things. And the squirrel is here too. I'm seeing the squirrel a lot more often than I thought I would. Oh, yes, but 50, 60 damage there. So the first knight is down, but his friends are still here. I need to start hitting more bombs or just more crit things and reloads. Okay, that's two crits there. And then, yes, hit the bomb, get stuck on the bomb. Beautiful. So all the shields are gone. And, oh, that knight's almost dead already. Okay, let's bounce through these and try to hit a reload maybe so we don't have to waste damage on the front knight. Oh, yes, there it is. Beautiful. And then that's enough to take out the next one. That was amazing. And we can get another lightning ball. So we'll do that. I like this. And then I like upgrading things. So we'll upgrade this lightning ball as well. And I haven't really paid attention to the map all that much. So let's just take some money and figure figure out where we go just as long as it's not the middle it's the middle amazing so we have another elite fight coming up oh more treasure and this is a weather vane which doesn't move interesting okay so that's the thing that transports orbs to the top so maybe we can hit that right away Ooh, especially on a crit oh yes it, that i just cycled through again and it's teleporting the squirrel too but only on the same roll, which is a little too bad. But at least a squirrel is racking up a bunch of damage. And it triggered a bomb. Oh, proud of you, little squirrel. And then 216 times two? Is that just what happened? Wow. So that was a lot of orbs that went away too. So let's get this reload over here, which I'm not really sure how many orbs are kind of on the screen right now, but we'll take it. So that was 35 damage to everybody. And then if the orb here does good, which it actually didn't, I was hoping we would take out that weather vane because it's blocking my attacks. And whoa, there's a wizard in the back. Where'd you come from? Oh, well, lightning ball should do good. Please go through the thing. Oh, you went through the wrong thing. And how is that thing still alive? Oh, great. And the wizard healed everybody. Of course you did. And of course I missed the reload. Oh, please just get that one. Oh, you didn't. But now we're actually hitting enemies. I don't think we need to get rid of these weather veins, but they are so annoyed. Okay, what do you do? I kind of forgot to read you. Oh, it returns to the top of the board one time. I like that, which is also good because it just shot down the middle right away. And come on, hit a lot more things. Ooh, get that crit, get that crit. You didn't get the crit, but at least there's a bomb here to drop you down to 12 and then jack-o'-lantern. Whoa, it hit the guy in the back? I don't want you to hit the guy in the back. Oh, I'm forced to target those things. That is honestly more annoying. Need to get some crits up here. At least this thing shoots straight forward. So the archer guy here is sadly gonna go down right away. But not sadly, because that means I get to take out other enemies right away. Or, oh, you were almost dead right away too. 200 damage. That would have taken you out at max health. And now this guy's spitting little fairy sparks at me. Gotta put an end to that nonsense. Hopefully soon. Oh, come on. Yes, that's enough damage. And you go straight forward, so you're dead anyway. Ooh, a crit ball. It converts things to crits. And it only gives damage on crits. But every attack is a crit. Oh, I like that. And then we can definitely take a 41% healing because that was a lot of annoyance right there. And then hopefully this next fight... Okay, it doesn't have weather veins. We're fighting blocks. Why are we fighting blocks? They're like Thwomp's little cousin or something. Ooh, but this is the poison one. Oh, please do. Infect the things. Ooh, and go... No, you almost went down the right one. But okay, bombs go out. And then we poison you. We're poisoning a block here, but wow, they move a long ways. That's not nearly as fun. Ooh, but a lightning ball across all of these is going to be very fun. But that doesn't seem like the upgraded one. So we... Ah, it just... <laughs> what? It just bopped on my head. Well, aren't you rude? But also these moving pegboard sections are feeling a little more obnoxious now. At least the bomb can take you out and then hit you for a bit and then just get thwomped on the head again and again. And that crit orb has a bit of slime on it, so maybe it's gonna be... Wow, that was terrible. Don't write home about that one. Okay, an inferno orb here. We need to hit a bomb, so hit that one. Oh, nope, I hit a crit, though. Just please do something good. We're not doing the damage numbers that we used to. Like, I get it that it's hard to top what we did, but man, I was hoping for more. Okay, I think what the problem is is we need to reload, so we can do that. That took out another box, which is good. And then, ooh, 408 six damage yes 
That's another one down. You know you're doing good when the damage that you're doing exceeds their maximum. Like, my goodness. Ooh, and more crits are happening, and a reload happened. Oh, and the bomb is gonna take out everybody with this one. Wow. And we did take a little more damage there, so let's just top up, and then converts every nine things to a bomb. It doesn't do damage, but we do hit a lot of them at once, so I think that could be worth it. And then all there is is an elite fight coming up here, so sure. Which is just more guys with shield. Oh, wow. You're looking fancy right there. It's also looking weirdly dark in here. I don't know if I like that, but let's just get some crits and then just whittle through all of this because that should do a lot of damage. Especially because, yes, that ended up in the pumpkin pie slot there. And then 200. And then gotta get through the shield, though. The damage doesn't stop on the shield, does it? Ooh, but the bomb will take out the shield, so it doesn't matter. Yes! These poor enemies here have no chance because they don't do nearly enough damage. But of course, there's another shield coming up. So let's just reload and wow. Oh my gosh. We cleared out the room except for the new guy. He shows up and he's just like, what did I just witness? Where did all my friends go? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna join them. Right before the big guy shows up. Oh, wow, with 600 HP. Why couldn't the big damage thing happen with him in the room? But at least we should still be able to take him down because he doesn't have his own shield. And then we can trigger that bomb over there for goodness. Ooh, and a crit. Now, please just hit a lot of things. Maybe hit a reload too. Ooh, perfect. Right before he's dropped from the top. So he's hitting way more things. Oh, this is perfect. And the squirrel shows up. Oh, yes, hit that. Very good. And squirrel is still going for 98 more damage on top of the 50 from the bomb. Oh, that scythe is beautiful. And for some reason, he's taking damage every time. I don't think I infected him. So I'm not sure where that source is coming from, but I'll take it. And then fire this one over here, I guess. Hopefully we can hit that crit block. Oh, oh yes, we did. That was amazing. Now build up the good things and give him lots of poison. Ooh, and drop through the drop through the top again. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful. Hit a reload too if you're at it. Yes! <laughs> it listens to me. And that's 152 more damage with some big poison spikes too. So Obelisk can just have fun with this one because he's basically gonna go down no matter where I launch this thing. And the wizard behind him was gone too, so this is the end of the fight with an Obelisk to the head. Ooh, an ether wheel. Refresh the board when this leaves the pegboard. That would be very good for what I have going. And can we upgrade it? What does the upgrade even do? Just more damage? That's not nearly as exciting. We could do this one to get more infection. We can do that once. And then we get the relic. Oh, oh, <laughs> the infection will increase instead of decreasing. Oh, that's gonna be so bad. I need it. I need it. And then let's get treasure too. I don't even know what random things could happen in the castle, but I'm kind of getting tunnel vision on treasure. Can you blame me? Oh, and here attacks appliance spin infection to enemies anyway. So that's really good. And then what's coming up here? There's another elite fight down there with a mandatory random event, no matter what we do, except for this one. You know what? We'll just see what the random event is. And maybe there's some good things in the shop that we can get with a whole 14 monies. Okay, so we can buy some things like a eyeball. We'll take the Glorb, so we get more bulwark because that should be helpful and then we go right into another elite fight what in the world are you you're a grabby wall I need to stay away from you oh gosh you're not gonna reach me are you I hope you don't. Okay, but this Orbalisk has a lot going for it. So let's activate a crit when we can. Is that the only one that's up here? That might be the only one that's up here. But I also want to hit it early. So just yeet and then hopefully you bounce back to it. Oh, come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit the next one maybe or just hit a bomb. That would be good too. Yes. Ooh, the crit. Yes. Big crit damage plus a bomb. Obelisk right onto a wall. And it has a little bit of poison. That's only going to climb each turn. Oh, this is brutal. And there's a crit right there. Ooh, and the reload for extra damage. And the squirrel is... <laughs> there's another squirrel. And they're triggering so many bombs. Yes. Go good little squirrel. Oh, and hit a reload, please. That would be amazing. Oh, but you missed. But that's... Wow. That was a lot of bombs that went out there and 300 damage on top of that. Okay, so the wall is scooting a little closer, but he's not really gonna reach me at this rate. And I want to hit a bomb with you, but that really didn't work. Sad little fireball, but he's losing 60 damage now and then it's gonna be 70 and even more so and a whole bunch of other things. It's just gonna keep going up. Ooh, get in the middle. Yes, another drop from the top. We need to reload this board. Oh, but that was a nice damage right there. And then just keep going with that. And <laughs> right down the slot again. So that's 70 damage. And then it's up to 
Eight. Okay, now we desperately need to hit a reload thing and it missed. Of course it did. Come on, just hit a reload there. No, I'm running out of pegs here. Just hit a bomb and then hit a board or reload thing maybe. But of course you're not. And the wall is only getting closer. Why must you toy with my feelings so? All right, lightning ball straight onto the reload. There we go. And now he's down to 200 damage. That number goes down very quickly, but now he's also gonna kind of be in grabby distance. And I'm not a fan of that. Ugh, okay, he's just got one. Oh, oh he broke because of the poison damage. Oh, no way. I didn't even realize that did so good. But now let's upgrade the as many balls as we can because next is the boss fight. Let's upgrade the Orbalisk once more and then we can do this again for a maxed out lightning ball, sure. And then a relic, increase by five per area per stack. That sounds really bad in the good kind of way. So I kind of need it. Infection things and reload things, that's where the damage is going. Okay, and then finally a random event. Right before the wall boss. I was right, that was a wall. Oh. It's a, it's the shop guy again. I haven't set up shop here yet, but I can give a free sample. Hey, ooh, upgrade an orb. Yes, please. And I really need to max out this infection thing. It applies five infection the first time on crit an additional two. Oh, this is dirty. You're not entirely convinced that they didn't just replace your orb, but either way, you're impressed. Perfect for this boss fight coming up here. I feel like he's gonna have a lot of hit points. And sure enough, 7,000. And he has two of these little knights in front of him, but wow. That field is dense with orbs. So this is gonna be fun. Just hit all the things. And the squirrel should still launch too. Yeah, because we have a lot of uses there. And bombs are going off, and I think a reload just happened. Or maybe it didn't. But either way, they're dropping from the top right as a reload happens. And now all it is is squirrels because so many things drop through. So three bombs out to begin with. And then, oh, straight to the knight in front. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, he, just, he just ate him. What are you Huh? Okay. I don't want to know what that means. Just use the obelisk and take out so many things. This will also hit him directly because obelisks don't care about going forward. Just drop straight from the top rope. And then those bombs take out you. So obelisk drops on you for almost a thousand damage. And that wasn't even a crit. Oh, I really wish that was a crit. Or maybe it was. I kind of lost track, but at least there's one more bomb going out. So are you gonna open up and release that knight again? Or is he just kind of, is he just out of the fight? Did you just eat him for real, for real? All right, at least the lightning ball will do a lot of damage here. 236, that actually wasn't very much, but now the poison things are doing over 100 damage. But also the reload things are way down there. And hopefully this little buckler thing can get there. At least it's giving us bulwark, which will be helpful. And there's more squirrels being started and yes, reload perfect timing there so that's two more bombs we're sadly running out of bombs but he's also very far away so we should have the time to do what we need to including hitting more reloads and then another reload there and stacking up a whole bunch of damage three bombs right there sadly the crit orbs are not in a great spot so we're not doing the damage that we used to but at least there's a crit there so we can stack it up come on get a thousand Oh, get 900. I'm okay with that because he's already down to almost a third. Ooh, and this is the reload one. This will be helpful. Plus a crit. And then, oh man, it's gonna hit so many things and reload so often. Just a bunch of little chip damage. And the squirrel goes through the top rejuvenation thing for even more damage. Yes, just keep it going. Just keep her going. And then reload again. Yes, ooh, and a, in a different spot. Okay, almost in a different spot. But that's still good damage. 268, that's... You know what? That's very steady damage. Ooh, and this is a crit orb. So hopefully you stick around the top because I would like the top things to become the critical orbs. Ooh, that one's actually in a good spot. Yeah, just keep doing that. And then, oh yes, just pepper the whole way down with more of them for yet another bomb. I think that was the last one on the field, but that was 360 damage. He has 16 stacks of poison. And then this one converts things to bombs. So let's open you up with a crit first. Oh, that's right, you don't do damage. But at least the bombs will do damage, right? I hope so, because we're triggering a lot of them. And the squirrels, sadly, don't do damage either. This is a lot of pegs that aren't doing anything until they're reloaded. And then they just get refunded in the top. So many zeros, it hurts. But then the bombs go out, which do... They, those do 150 apiece? Why didn't I get that sooner? And then you do... Yeah, you do things, but I'm mostly just worried about the damage. Come on, 200... Yes, yes, this is enough to take out the wall. And whoop bam beautiful. So the guy, the guy, the guy that he ate, 
actually died. <laughs> okay, creepy demon wall is gone now. And we have an orb that says ev eviscerate. I don't even need to read that. I just want it. And then let's just upgrade it right away because why not? And then upgrade again right away because why not? Ooh, randomly add two rare orbs and then upgrade orbs five times? Yes, please. Just do it. I don't even know what it got upgraded, but we passed the castle. I think this is a good spot to end for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Peglin. It got a 1.0 release really recently, so I wanted to check it out. And it is a lot of fun. That was such insane damage. And he's just happily bouncing the whole time, so you know the vibes are good. And if you guys want to see more of this game, then be sure to let me know. There's definitely further that we can get to, and I really don't know how far this can go. But thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Brad, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donomoto, DVMX, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupa Long, Lily, The Minor Within, DeGarity, Sands, Isaac, V, Killer Squad, Mousy Mouse, Nicholas, and Lollipop.